Oops. Hey, over here. Hi. What's up, everybody? We have got a super special episode for you today. It's summer. We're going to check out some delicious Shanghainese food. And we've got an amazing guest on the show today. We've got Dear Jim. Hi, guys. So we're in a tree. <laughs> um, and my name is Dia Jin. I have a uh, travel YouTube channel. It's really fun today. I get to hang out with Peter and Yen and we're going to eat some delicious Shanghainese food. If you didn't know already, I was actually born in Shanghai, China. And we're about to check out three of the most authentic spots in Auckland. Should we go get some delicious food? Let's go eat. First spot, this is Mount Albert. And we are heading for a little bit of breakfast right now at Taste and Memory. This is the only place in Auckland that I know where you can get authentic <laughs> Shanghainese breakfast experience with some hot doujiang and some millet bread, small wontons. I was born somewhere very close to Shanghai, so this is sort of like our hometown flavor. Yeah, this is getting back to our roots. <laughs> Gotta do a special shout out to Andrea Andrea on Facebook because she actually recommended this place. Thank you so much for that. We're gonna start with some of this fried millet bread and it does work with the soy milk. Cheers! Cheers. This is a little bit salty, mm -hmm. and then this is a little bit sugary. Mm -hmm. It just goes together really nicely. Because it's so crunchy, the soy softens it a little bit. It reminds me of my grandma, because mm -hmm. when we were back in Shanghai, she always takes us to a place where you can get Xiaolong Baos and Doujiang for breakfast. Should we go in for some of the small wontons mm -hmm. in the soup? Mm -hmm. Got the perfect amount of meat in it, slightly salty. The skin was like really, really, um, what do you say, like slippery in a nice way? <laughs> Yeah. So it was really good. Cortez, not really a breakfast dish, but they're so good here that we had to get them as well. I like to leave my Cortez in the vinegar cleaner. I've one bite of this thing, but I'm gonna oh. take half a bite okay. just so I can show you guys what's inside. <laughs> I love the crispy skin on the bottom. And the meat filling is really, really good. It's almost a little sweet as well. Mm. So the vinegar, and imagine soy sauce too would be good. Yeah, that's the thing with Shanghainese cooking though. There's a lot of sweet flavors. Mm -hmm. The ladies here are so nice. Once they saw that we finished with our meal, they bought us over a free dessert, which is this lotus flower, brown sugar, and jelly. It's something that neither of us have had before, and you stir it all up, get all the ingredients together, and you're ready to eat. It doesn't have much flavor. Mm -hmm. It's actually just got a little bit of a cooling sensation. Amazing texture, like slippery. <laughs> Again, I'm slippery. It's <laughs> like the wonton, but it's a different kind of slippery. <laughs> There's, I think, cranberry, dried cranberry bits inside. Yeah. Do you know that, like, the hot, the flakes? It adds a little bit more of that tart sweetness inside. This has been an amazing breakfast here, but we have now got two more places to hit oh. up. Let's get some more food. Yay, yeah, let's go. Welcome, Welcome to Shanghai Facts. So today our fact number one is that Shanghai is uh, the largest city in the world with a population of 24.1 million. That's a lot of people in one city. Wow. And the second fact is, Shanghai actually translates to above the sea. And fact number three is that Shanghai has its own dialect, just like much of the other cities and provinces in China. So if you're from outside of Shanghai, you might not understand the dialect at all. And the final fact is, Shanghainese food is actually a little bit sweeter than the other provinces in China. And that is all for our Shanghai facts today. Alright guys, so we're in our second spot of the day. I'm super excited to try all of these yummy food out. Xiaolongbao or soup dumplings, which is a classic. Shanghainese dish. Probably what like Shanghai food is famous for, That's I think. That's true, like the number one known dish for Shanghai. And I'm gonna place this straight into my vinegar. Everybody eats their Shaolong Baos a little bit differently, and inside there's that soup, there's that fatty pork, there's the lean pork, and then you got that soft skin encasing it. The meat is so good, like the filling is actually super meaty inside, so when you bite into it, it's like a mouthful of just tasty flavors. Delicious. Mm -hmm. This is how I like to eat my one. I drain out all the soup and just drink it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my way. Next up, we go in for some vegetable rice. The fatty cured pork. Yeah. And then you got the Chinese cabbage. The salty pork with the oily rice. I mean, and then the, veg uh, the vegetables are a bit 
crisp and fresh, so it's a really good sort of combination of balance. A foodie friend of ours called Ting Ting says that this is the best bun to man in Auckland. What it is is hand pulled noodles with this dried scallion on top, and then underneath you get a whole bunch of this sauce. The sauce is almost a little bit smoky. It's smoky from that really, really deep fried scallion. <laughs> It's so good. And you said the noodles are handmade. Handmade. You can really feel the, the chewiness, the yeah. bounciness of the noodles. Yeah, the texture is just not like anything that you would get out of a packet, right? Exactly. So on camera, it probably looks like a really simple dish. But I kid you not, it tastes absolutely amazing. Packs full of flavors, and I think it's super good. Yes. All right, dear, we are at our final place right now. Final place, number three. So we got two classic cold dishes. Ching Yu, which is smoked fish. And then this is another very famous dish as well. Spare ribs that's been covered in vinegar, sweet and salty sauce. Those flavors just taste so authentic. It's really easy to not get this one right. Because you just add some vinegar, add some soy sauce, and add some sugar and you think you got a dish. No. There's smokiness in here. The meat is just done perfectly. Like I don't know how they've done this, yeah. but it's just different, right? It's so good. Honestly, this is the kind of food that I can just sit here and finish in one sitting and just keep going and like just this alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's because delicious. it's got so much sweet hardness and uh, saltiness that you can just keep going forever. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> really. The best smoked fish that you can get in Auckland. Looks like a plain piece of fish, but no. It's not a plain piece of fish. <laughs> it's got very intense flavors inside. This really makes me think of home. You taste all the smokiness. The texture of the fish is just really unique because it's been deep fried and then smoked. There's a lot of bones, but that's what the meat looks like. The fried turnip cakes are here, and they're super soft, and they've got sesame on the bottom. They look at all that turnip goodness inside, along with some veggies, and then it's coated on the outside by a delicious buttery pastry. Cheers! Oh, how hot! Oh, that's so good! Hot, hot! <laughs> this is braised pork belly with pickled cabbage underneath. It's a super famous Shanghainese dish. We are gonna make one of these bowls right now. How cute! <laughs> <laughs> like a Donald Duck. <laughs> Grab one of these meats first and then you just chuck it on the bottom. There's a little bit of pickled cabbage down here too. And I just take a little and chuck it right on top. And I'm not really sure why there's broccoli. Sometimes this happens in Chinese cuisine where they just chuck one on, but yeah. I think it's uh, it's to make the dish look pretty. You don't eat that thing though. Yeah, we don't eat the broccoli. <laughs> one bite. <laughs> you have to deep fry it first and then you braise the meat. And that's why it's so tender. And then you chop it up and then you put it on the top of all those pickled preserved vegetables. And it adds so much flavor once you have all those different kind of combinations mixing together because you've got the saltiness from the preserved veggie, you've got the sweetness from the sauce, and then that meat, you're getting all the rich fattiness. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. And the, the little bun thing, it's kind of a little bit chewy, the texture, but it's like also puffy and soft. Yum. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, what a day oh. of eating. No, it was so good. Honestly, all the places were amazing. Thank you, dear, for coming on this episode. No, oh, thank you guys for having me. It's been so fun just like chatting about uh, eating and YouTube <laughs> and whatever else. All three places were absolutely amazing. If you're in Auckland, I'd recommend checking out all of them. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you like that. And if you want to see Dion here again, make sure you leave a comment. We were just talking, we might actually see each other in an overseas country one day. That's right, you never know. The world is small when you travel, so maybe we'll run into each other and do another food episode in yeah. some other part of the world. Yeah. See you guys! Bye! <laughs>